Middlehofer looking for Pitts on the left side, finds him at the left angle, top of the key. Nothing there as he passes down low for Senef. It's slapped out of bounds. That is Bondars. Crusaders will get it back under the basket. Good hands there by Bondars. Top of the key to Jason Senek. Left side for Pitts. Pitts on the drive, goes into the paint, hangs, lays it up off the front of the rim, no good, gets his own rebound. It's now on the floor and Messner comes up with it. Back out for Pitts on the right wing. Back down low for Messner. Backs in against the big man. Nice jump hook, no good. Needlehoff for there for the rebound. Off the glass and good. Needlehoff is adding a great boost for the Crusaders this year so far on the boards, uh, averaging about two, two a game, or two or three a game, which is great for a point guard. Crusaders strike first here, 2-0, 1915 to go, first half. Top of the key for Bondars. Bondars, left side, number 44, Pat Baxter. Baxter is backing in, now kicks back out, number 25, that's Koshian, just inside the three-point line, and his 18-footer is good. Ball game tied at two apiece. These muskies uh, come out quick, and they're a tall bunch, as Coach Harris said. They sure are. Down low once again for Messner. Backs inside, finds himself in a trap. Out for Nadelhafer. Jumper from seven feet, no good. Rebound tipped around the cylinder, and Messner comes up with it again. Already three rebounds for the big man. Inside to Seneff. Seneff goes up and gets fouled on the play. That's what Seneff does best. He grabs those rebounds, takes it strong to the basket, puts his body, body in between his, the ball and the defender, and goes to the line a lot. Uh, he's leading the team in free throws made and three of those attempted. He's uh, went to the line 47 times, made 33 of those, shooting 70.2% from the line. Seneff will measure up his first one here. It's on the way. Off the front of the rim and no good. Crusaders as a team now shooting 70% from the charity stripe. They've been uh, not as good this season as they have in the past. The second one clanks off the back iron, no good. Senef keeps the score at two apiece. 18 and a half minutes to go. We've just started this ball game against the Lakeland College Muskies. Pass on the right side, that's number five, Jason Goodridge. Ooh. Draws a hand, is that a hand check from Wesley Pitts? It looks like a hand check from Pitts, either that or it's a Oh, it's on Aaron Messner. It's a hold on Messner. Looked like he must have been holding uh, Imont's cat lips. Looking inbound, excuse me, now it's Pat Baxter. Baxter back out on the right angle, top of the key. That's Bondars. Bondars shoots from 15, no good. Seneff tips the rebound over to Wesley Pitts, and Pitts will bring it down for the Crusaders. Find Senek down low. Senek will back in now. Shooting the jumper from 14 feet off the front iron, no good. Messner can't get to the rebound. He's the only white jersey down around the hoop for the Crusaders at this point. The Muskies come up with it. Jason Goodrich, now top of the key for Baxter, right side, that's Bondars. Back out for Baxter. Good deep by West Pitts helping out Senek there. And they throw it away. Nadel Hoffer comes up with, with it for the Crusaders. He crosses the timeline with 18 minutes to go in the first half. Tie ball game to a piece. Messner thinks about a 15-footer. He can hit that. He certainly can, but instead he opts to hand off to Jason Senek. Senek gets it to Nadel Hoffer now around the top of the key for Wesley Pitts. He should score this guy. A good move, exactly, Christian. Goes up and scores a tough move against a double team. Pitts, once again, the hang time, a factor, gives Pitts. the Crusaders a 4-2 lead. Pitts needs to take that guy off the dribble. 25, Brad Koshian doesn't look like he's real quick, real skinny kid. Pitts can take him every time. Simple head fake, and Pitts had number 25 well off of his feet. That is Brad Koshian. Kosian with the basketball now, gives it to Bondars. A three-point attempt is no good, okay. balls on the ground. Kosian gets a long rebound. Back inside to Baxter. Now he'll shoot from 15, and he gets nothing but the bottom of the net. Scores tied up at four apiece. West Blitz is playing great defense out here. He ran out to him uh, and stopped him, but then he had to go back to his other man. No one else came and rotated to take the shooter. Guy had an open jump shot. Nadelhofer calling out play number four right now. Christian, you might know what that is. It's going to be five this. down, and uh, it's going to be a back screen up here somewhere. Uh, stops, doesn't get the back screen to Messner. Messner hits from, uh, from 17 yeah. feet. Aaron Messner is showing some versatility out there. Six foot eight, 285 pound center. Cans it from 17 feet out, gives the Crusaders a six to four lead. Here's Baxter, thinks about a three pointer. Three and a half minutes into the ball game, 16 25 to go now. Bounce pass down low for Catlaps. Kicks it out now to number five, Jason Goodrich, the point guard. Goodrich, a move on Pitts, kind of dances through everyone, lays it off the glass, and it's good. A tie ball game, six apiece. Nice move. Way to be strong with the ball there. So good. Rich. Pitts hands off for Senek. Senek at the top of the key. Hands right back off to Matt Nadelhofer. 
Nadelhofer, the transfer from the College of DuPage, a hometown boy, somewhat, played at the Aurora Christian High School. Hands off for Pitts. Pitts left angle, top of the key. Now on the left wing for Senek. Tries a move on Baxter. Baxter doesn't buy it. Senek bounce pass left side for Pitts. Three point jumper is no good. Rebounded by Catlaps. That shot clock was on was on four when Pitts got that ball, so he had to let that fly no matter what. Probably not the shot Pitts wanted to take. Kosian has it working on Natal Offer. Between the legs dribble now. Bounce pass for Baxter. Nice. Pass down low for the big man. Catlaps shot his block, gets his own rebound, and lays it in. Once again, good weak side help by West Pitts. West Pitts caused him to stumble. Messner blocked it, but the guy got a shot back and put it back in. That's why he's averaging 16 points a game. He, he's tenacious down there. Big man from Latvia. Crusaders down 8-6 to six with 15 minutes to go in the first half. On the drive is Nadelhofer. Tries a no-look pass. Passes right into the hands of the Muskies, and down comes Goodrich. Bounce pass for Baxter. Can't hold on. Now regains control, gives up to Kosian. His 15-footer is good. The Crusaders are down by four. Well, I think that Kosian uh, point guard, the only reason he's in is he can hit the open shot. He, he's getting used by Pitts on defense, but he's hit two open shots now early on. Crusaders with only six points here through five minutes of play. Not a whole lot of offense. Seneff tries to provide him with some, goes and cut the basket and the foul on the drive. He picked up a block. Went to the floor hard, but was able to lay it up and good. The Crusaders back to within two. Acrobatic move there by Tim Seneff. Leans in, kind of leans, leaves his feet, draws the contact, flips it up, and had enough English on the ball that it kind of spun around the rim and sunk in for the possible three-point play. We've seen here, Seneff here is this second time at the line. Jeff, he's doing what he, he's famous for, is getting the line. I believe he's 16th in uh, all-time career. Free throws made at Wheaton College, and he makes his first one here. Oh, and it's only one. Well, he complete, point play. completes the three-point play. The Crusaders down by one now, 10-9. to nine. Senna takes the seed. In comes the sophomore, Joel Eckert, freshman eligibility-wise. 14-28 to go, a one-point lead for the Muskies. But make it three as Catlaps goes back door, wide open basket, lays it up. 12-9, to nine, now the score. Nice play for him. That was set up, definitely. He's a big guy, and Messner has had his hands full, but Messner, with that offensive line experience, will come in hand. He goes on the drive, dribbles off his own knee, and the Muskies come up with it. A new man to the ball game, number 24, that's T.J. Tunnison. With a face mask on, guarding his prob probably broken nose, so kind of doing a Will Purdue style game yeah. tonight. Or Bill Lambeer, if you will. Yes, sir. On the drive is Baxter, kicks out for Tunnison. Nothing there, back cross court, Kosian down low for Catlaps. Top of the key, Baxter fakes the three-pointer back into Catlaps, turnaround jumper from seven is good. Tough. He's got the same type of touch as Messner, oddly enough. Messner has great touch from uh, seven, eight feet outside, even up to 10, and uh, this Catlaps has great touch also. Messner nailed the 17-footer earlier. Here's Nadelhofer from 14, that's good. Score is now 11 to 14, a musky lead with 13.20 to go. On the drive now, right side Baxter. Baxter picks up a foul. No, offensive. Me. Offensive foul. Did you see what that was? It looked like I want to say that Catlips might have uh, might have pushed him. I don't. I didn't get the foul. Did they call it on 54? We're looking to our statistical stati statistical expert here. Excuse me, Josh Hall. Okay, they called it on 24. The new man in the game, the Will Purdue face mask player here. That's D.J. Tennyson. Offensive foul on him. Crusaders ball. Crusaders get it back. Nadelhofer thinks about a three-pointer. Drives inside now. Nice no-look pass from Messner off the glass, and Messner shows the touch we were just talking about. Crusaders back to within one. And that's why Nadelhofer is here, to provide those great assists. Sometimes risky, but he gets the job done. Here's Baxter for three. That one is good. Jason Senek not happy about that at all. He was beat horribly on defense there. Well, the bottom line was Baxter was open no matter what happened. Yeah, that's right. Senef will go down to the scorer's table and look to check in. 12.32 to go, first half. Crusaders trailing 17-13. Backdoor pass for Pitts, still on the left wing. Takes Tunnison on the drive, goes up one on three, shot is blocked. Messner and Kosian fighting for the rebound, and Kosian uh, is a few inches thinner after that play. Messner squashed him on the floor, and Kosian takes a few seconds to get up. Pork Chalk laid all 280 pounds of him. 
on the floor, uh, right on top of him on the floor. I think he's got poor guys having a little trouble breathing at first, but I think he's okay now. Messner comes out of the game. Uh, Tim Senef comes back in, and Joel Eckert's gonna match up now against Catlaps. It looks like. Uh, this is where, yeah, this is where it will get interesting because if you've seen Joel Eckert and Rob Hammond, the two backup centers, they are not big men by any stretch of the imagination. Both stand about 6'9", but they're around 200 pounds or less. On the drive now is Bondar's left side. Kosian, his 15-foot jumper is good. It's a six-point lead, 19-13. Third open shot for Kosian. He's nailed all three. Crusaders need to keep those uh, ball from rotating to him. He hits all the open shots he gets. Eckert, nice move in the paint, kicks out for Pitts, three-pointer no good. Seneff goes up for the rebound, has it stripped away, and they call the foul on the big man from Latvia, Imans Kotlops. Good foul. Early on. Yeah, Eckert got himself in some trouble down there, and so did I uh, trying to call it for that matter. Eckert uh, was, found himself in a trap, and they were going for the basketball. He was did a good job to kick it out for Pitts. Pitts had a nice jumper, couldn't convert. Conlops will take a seat now with two fouls. That's four team fouls for the Muskies. Crusaders have it th under the Muskie basket. Inbound pass for Senek, top of the key. Nice pass down low for Eckert, a oh, good no, move. Beautiful. Good move there, he, he threw it to him in the paint, and Eckert, and the key was he did not put it on the floor, didn't have to, just took a step, laid it up. Crusaders now down 19-15. Good, good confidence builder for Joe Eckert, who sometimes has a hard time finishing. 11 and a half to go, first half, move down low. That's number 51, Matt Janish. He just checked into the ball game. Couldn't convert, ball went out of bounds off of the Muskies. Crusaders will get it back. And it looks like they're looking at the ankle. That's Al Howard, the Crusaders trainer, looking at Messner's ankle down there, kind of. Uh, taping it up, it looks like. Taping it up, hopefully nothing too serious for the big man. 11-19 to go, first half. Crusaders trailing 19-15. Nothing to worry about, though. They've been in this position many times already this season. Oh. Seneca, good move on the baseline. Couldn't put it in, however. Now it's Lakeland on the drive. That's Kosian. Kosian picked up by Pitts. Picks up his dribble. Bounce pass down low for Janish. Off the glass. No good. Gets his own rebound. Lays it up, and the Crusaders have been beaten on the defensive glass here quite a bit already tonight. They sure have. Early on, it looks like they were doing well, especially on the offensive boards. But the defensive boards, they just haven't shown up so far tonight, Jeff. Trailing by six. Now Senek for 15. That's good, from 15 rather. He can hit that, he can pull up on just about anybody's face. He stands 6'7". And you kind of almost wish he would shoot a little bit more, you know? He's very slow to pull the trigger, but when he does, you're almost assured that he'll put it in. The Crusaders now trailing by four. Right side, that's Tunnison. Tunnison back out top of the key for Baxter. Left side, Kosian, picked up by Wesley Pitts. Back out now for Bondars. Bondars to Baxter, thinks about a three. Now it's uh, Kosian, excuse me, that's Bondars. Pitts dies for the rebound, comes down with it, and now leads the offensive drive. Wisely will slow it up, however, excuse me. Oh, that's Joe Eckert, a good move in the paint. No good, however, rebounded by Seneff, and he goes up and once again is fouled on the play. Classic Seneff there, getting the foul after he gets the rebound, going up strong, he's going to the line again. But Wes Pitts doing his Im imitation of Luke Skywalker on the other end, pulls down the rebound and while hanging in the air for about two seconds more. A crowd likes it. Pitts comes down, makes the pass to Eckert. Eckert misses the hook, but the vacuum, Tim Seneff, Takes in the rebound, jumps back up with it, gets the foul, and he's at the line again for his, I believe his fourth or third, fourth or third free throw of the night, Jeff. That's his fifth attempt, at, four, fourth attempt. <laughs> We're looking yeah. over to Josh Howell. We should probably just have Josh grab the microphone. He's got five attempts, and he's one for five so far, I guess, according to Josh's unofficial stats. They're official enough for us. <laughs> That's right. Senef's second attempt. First one was no good. This one is good, and the Crusaders now find themselves trailing 21-18, just under 10 minutes to go in the first half. Baxter went out, by the way, during the uh, during the free throws there. He's replaced once again by number 43. That's John Hasey. Right side is Kosian. Kosian, top of the key. Tunnison now left side to the new man. That's Hasey. Casey back out for Kosian. Right side, Tunnison. 
on the drive. Nothing there. Pitts almost stripped it away, but there to pick it up is number 51. That is Janish fighting around the cylinder. Can't put it in. And finally, Tim Seneff comes up with it. And they follow him once again on the play. Seneff is going to probably end up getting all of his points from the free throw line if he can start converting. That'd be nice. Unfortunately, Seneff is just not having a good shooting night, as you said, Jeff. And uh, that's real kind of uncharacteristic for Seneff. He's shooting about... Uh, what do we got here? 70% for the year. So it's real uh, uncharacteristic tonight of Tim Seneff. Although it's early on in the game, usually he takes takes more shots towards the uh, middle part of the game when he's warmed up. So Matt Nadelhoff will bring the ball up here for the Crusaders. Nine minutes and 18 seconds to go in the first half. Crusaders down 21-18. Playing the Lakeland College Muskies of Wisconsin, of course. Seneck on the drive. Nice turnaround move. Lays it up and good from just about five feet out. Crusaders back to within one and putting on the full court press. That's Seneca and Pitts providing, some, providing a trap in the corner, but the Muskies are able to work their way out of it as Hasey comes down on the far side. Gets it to the point guard, Goodrich, who's back into the ball game now. Goodrich on the drive. Nice pass down low for Tunnison. Tunnison couldn't hold on, now regains control. He's guarded by a much bigger man, Jason Senek. Now out to Kosian. Kosian left side for Goodrich. Goodrich with seven seconds on the shot clap. That oh. bounce pass down low and the Crusaders first a turnover. Nice play there. Nice backdoor defense, and Janish couldn't come up with it. The Crusaders get it back. Perhaps a miscommunication with Lakeland, Lakeland players there. Goodrich is upset. He's kind of sulking down the court, just looking around, wondering what he has to do to get a bounce pass into the posts here for Lakeland. But good defense by the Crusaders and that last stand, Jeff. Crusaders lineup now. Matt Nadel offer Rob Hammond, who's just stepped into the ball game for his first action tonight. Wesley Pitts and the Sens. J Jason Senek and Tim Seneff, the two seniors. Icker and Effer, That's as right. Coach Harris would say. I don't think they really enjoy being called that. <laughs> Hammond wide open from the three-point line and nails it. Boom! Obviously, the Muskies have not done their homework, or they would know that Rob Hammond is a threat from anywhere on the court. He gives them a two-point lead, 23-21, eight minutes to go, first half. Lob pass down low for the big man. That is hot lobs. He can't come up with it. And Hammond, an immediate effect once again, gets the rebound, passes ahead for Nadelhofer on the drive. Can't convert on the basket, but draws the foul. Good penetration and a technical foul called on number 25 here by the, one of the referees. And this is on Lakeland. And that's Brad Kosian. He, he can't believe it. Although you can tell that he, the technical falls on him because his skin is just beat red right now. <laughs> A fiery temper out there for Kosian. Interesting to see this. They'll send Nadelhofer to the foul line. I'm so used to seeing Tim Senef go. However, due to his poor shooting tonight. This, uh, this is a shooting foul. This is, okay. Nadelhofer good on the first one. In any case, gives the Crusaders a three-point lead. Matt Nadelhofer, the junior transfer, a 70% free throw shooter. Misses the second opportunity, was one of two, gives the, uh, excuse me, made the second one. And Senek and Nadelhofer both tell each other to go to the line. Senek ends up leaving, and Nadelhofer's going to go shoot the technical right now. He's on a roll. Ah, as soon as I said it, of course, he misses. Two of three now. Crusaders a four-point lead. Here's a second shot. Fourth in a row. And he goes 75% in the efforts. 21, 26 to 21, Crusaders on top. 77, excuse me, seven minutes and 53 seconds to go. Moderate crowd here tonight at Centennial Gymnasium. See across the way, Andy Shields, a loyal Crusader basketball fan, is listening on in his headset. I'd like to say hi to him. Also like to say hello to uh, my roommate and best friend in the entire world, Johnny Yukich, who's either here or back home listening. I can be assured of that. He has the headset on as he does every time the Crusaders are in action. 26-21, Crusaders on top, 7.45 to go. First half, Hammond on the drive, a nice move to get some space, but now throws it away and coming up with it is number 34, Jesse Edwards. Ahead to Goodrich. Goodrich lays it up off the glass and good. And that was made possible by Jesse Edwards, who just checked in, six foot one sophomore from Jeffersonville, Indiana. Good anticipation on the pass. Pitts pulls up from about 17, misses off the back of the rim. Pitts grabs his own rebound. Thanks to some help from Kotlops. Kotlops just tried to throw it up in the air. Now Senek loses it on the floor. Hammond fights for it on the ground and will call a jump ball. 
little sloppy here by the Crusaders. They're having a little hard time getting on the, in, the inbounds, or not the inbounds pass, but the bounce pass into the post here, Jeff. Uh, Jason Senek trying to throw the bounce pass into Hammond, and ball gets kick, kicked around, and jump ball, Lakeland College ball, Jeff. There's no doubt they haven't been as sharp as they were at the end of last season, but it's early at this point, only the sixth game of this young 95-96 season. Excuse me, seven minutes to go as uh, Tunnison on the drive lays it up and good. Impressive. Exactly, nice move. He was wide open under the glass. 26-25, Crusaders lead down to one. Senek now, 15-footer from the right side, no good. Rebounded once again, this is Edwards. Crusaders running and gunning at this point and not really working out for their favor. Tunnison on the drive, has it slapped away, rebounded by the Muskies, and here's a shot from Goodrich. He makes that, and the Muskies regain the lead. Now Goodrich is starting to come alive, Jeff. He's averaging 14 a game, and all of a sudden he's had the last four points here. Could be a little scary for the Crusaders if he starts getting hot. Nadelhofer walks it down. The Crusaders down by one with six minutes and 20 seconds to go in the first half. Hammond, another three-pointer. Just off the mark, rebounded by Edwards. And he'll streak down the left sideline and look to set up. No, he oh. dribbles it off his foot. He was looking the wrong way. He wants that one back, I'll tell you that. He might have been looking at one of those uh, cheerleaders, the Wheaton College cheerleading <laughs> forces over there, the guys and the girls all said, and they might have been, done the first uh, game-like beneficial thing for the Crusaders this year. <laughs> Caused them to dribble the ball out of bounds, so kudos to the Cru uh, Crusader cheerleaders over there. Could be Chad Hunter, who was named biggest Crusader fan oh. in the senior class, probably yelling in his ear. <laughs> Senek on the drive, kicks out for Pitts, left wing. Crusaders down 27-26, just under six minutes to go in the first half. Pitts picks up his dribble, gives off for Senek. Senek looking inside for Senef. Looks zigged when he should have zagged there, as Mark Schultz would say, and Senek throws it away. And again, Senek having a little problem passing the ball into uh, the post. They need to sharpen that up. Coach Harris is now getting up from the bench. I think first time we've seen him up on the bench the whole game and uh, just giving his team a little assurance here. Eckert into the ball game now for Hammond. And Messner's been on the seat for a few minutes. His ankle might be bothering him, Jeff. Have to look into that one. Goodrich on the drive. Thinks about a shot now. Kicks off for Janish. Yep. Yes, good call. Janish with the charge. And I think that was Joel Eckert who took that? I believe so. He took it. He put, uh, he put his elbow right into Eckert, and the ref was right there and saw it. Good call by the referee. 529 left here in the first half. Crusaders down by one point, 26 to 27 to Lakeland College. Little surprise so far, Jeff. Well, I don't think Coach Harris would be surprised. He expected this team to be good. And they have they have been pretty impressive. The Crusaders have been a little rusty. Pitts right side for Senek. Senek working on Goodrich, backing in now. Finds himself in the trap, kicks out for Nato off at top of the key. Matt Nadelhofer on the drive of the paint. Hands off to Senef. Senef, a power move under the basket. Crusaders get the lead back, 28-27, as we hit the five-minute mark in the first half. Once again, an unnecessary dribble, however, from Tim Senef. We can't critique him because he made the basket. Baxter thinks about a three-pointer. Covered by Senef. Now shoots over top of him. Got it! Wow, that was a tough three-pointer right in the face of Tim Senef. I wouldn't want to take that shot, that's for sure. Senef can sure jump, as we all know. He's pretty flat-footed on that play, and I think Baxter sensed it. 30-28 to 28 deficit for the Crusaders. Nadal Hoffer to Pitts, four and a half minutes to go. Senek bounce pass down low for Senef. Works in the paint, good move, but won't make it go. Gets his own rebound, fights under the basket, and it goes off of his foot, and the Muskies will get it back. Good hustle by Tim Senef. He's been basically all of the Crusaders' offense so far. We haven't seen uh, many uh, West Pitts drives to the basket or Jason Senek three-pointers so far, Jeff. Kind of a bit of an unusual game, almost, almost like Tim Senef is carrying the team. He is. He has become more of an offensive player. There's no doubt about that. He takes a seat now as he is replaced once again by Aaron Messner after some good rest. Pass left side for Baxter on the drive. Shot off the glass, no good. Nadelhofer, a good job to tip it over to Pitts. Pitts comes down with it, passes ahead for Eckert. Eckert again lays it up. No good, but Nadelhofer fights for the rebound. Will bring it back out and run the offense. Good hustle by Nadelhofer. Driving into the paint. Oh, oh beautiful oh. no-look pass for Messner. He lays it in. The Crusaders knock things up at 30 apiece. Eyes in the back of his head that Nadelhofer does. Great, great pass. Late College takes a timeout. Coach Brian Miller calls timeout with 3.49 to go in the first half. A tie ball game points and two three-pointers. 
Muskies bring it down, 3.45 to go. Tie ball game, 30-30. Left side is Kosian. Kosian to Goodrich. Goodrich on the drive goes right past Pitts, lays it up, and converts. Pitts got a, that was, I mean, kind of a tricky thing. Wesley Pitts kind of got caught up in the other players there. Yeah. Goodrich did a, did a good job to find an opening. Pitt, drive right through. He looked like he was, Pitts looked like he was trailing on the screen. Pass by Pitts to Messner. Messner lays it in for the nice two. Messner can do that all night if you sure get him can. the opportunity. That's good to see. Excellent movement without the basketball from the big man. And, he, you know, he, fi he finds a way, and it, it helps that he's 6'8 and 285 pounds. Janish, on the other hand, lays it up and good. Messner getting beat on defense there. Moves without the basketball well, a little bit more on Aaron Messner, and uh, has such strength down low that you just, once he finds position, you just can't move him out. That's true. He's a big man. They'll look to him again. Pass down low. Crusaders down 34 32. Messner backing in. Wheels on Janish. Off the glass. Force the shot. Goodrich comes up with the rebound. Tough shot by Messner there. Tried to get this man up in the air, but wasn't able to and forced the shot. Baxter thinks about a three. Now to Janish in the paint. Kicks out for Tunnison. Cross court pass, Baxter. Two minutes, 30 seconds to go. Top of the key for Kosian. Between the legs dribble. Guarded by Nadelhofer. Left side for Tunnison. He's got it by Joel Eckert, back out to Baxter. Hammond goes down at the scorer's table. He'll look to check in at the next stoppage of play. Along with Seneff. Along with Seneff. Kosian backs it out. Five seconds on the shot clock. He'll have to shoot. Kicks off for Goodrich. Two, one. Shot is blocked partially by Nadelhofer, and it's a shot clock violation. The That's Crusaders right. will get into the basket. One of the best defensive stops we've seen in this ball game. That's good to see, especially with that unit with uh, Joel Eckert and Aaron Messner with a possible hurt ankle. And Messner and Eckert are rewarded in a way. They get to get a rest on the bench. And in comes Seneff and Hammond for them. Crusaders ball. Nadelhofer bringing it up in the court, barking up the play. Exactly two minutes remain in the first half as Nadelhofer crosses the half court line. Crusaders down 34-32. Works through a Hammond screen on the right side. Nothing there. Now finds Pitts on the right side. Oh Pitts blows by everyone. Goes up. Gets hacked. No call. Seneff on the rebound. Lays it up. And he is able to tie the ball game at 34 apiece. Pitts having a hard time once he gets some traffic tonight. Getting tied up. No fouls being called, but he's taking some good shots. He certainly has got more than just one step on Tunnison. Oh, definitely. Tunnison with the basketball now. Beautiful pass. Beautiful pass for Janish. Can't make it go. Crusaders there for the rebound. Nadelhofer, minute 23 to go. Drives in the paint, shoots from seven. No good, fights for his own rebound. Can't come up with it, and the Muskies will bring it down. And Tunnison's missed about three wide open layups so far. Kosian on the drive now, and we've got a blocking foul called on Matt Nadelhofer. Minute 11 to go, tie ball game 34-34. Good call there by the ref on Nadelhofer. Nadelhofer didn't quite get there. A little stab by Josh Hall. Janish, I thought he missed a few. He's one for four in layups, Jeff. <laughs> Not he's... too good for a backup center. Yeah, seriously. Not too good for any center, I guess, huh? Not too good for me, for that matter. I'm horrible at layups. <laughs> Even for Will Perdue. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Inbounding now to number 23. That's Bondar. Shoots from 10 feet. It's good. A two-point lead as we head into the final minute of the first half. Bondar has no conscience. He has the ugliest shot, but he sure keeps putting it up. Senek on the left side. Kicks back out for Pitts. Right side for Nadelhofer. Top of the key, Senek. Left side for Wesley Pitts. Back out to Nadelhofer. Top of the key. Right side for Senek. Down low for Senek. Senek drives under the basket. Loses it off of his foot. And the Muskies will get it back. A lot of contact down there. Senek looking to the ref maybe for a block or something. Uh, ref doesn't say anything, so it's going to be Lakeland ball. And Lakeland takes a 20-second timeout. A uh, little bit of turnaround here, Jeff, for the Crusaders. They're, they're not getting it done like they were in the beginning. Uh, jumping out to a bit of a lead. Now uh, Crusaders are down by two with... Uh, by two, however. 40 seconds to go in the first half. Right side for T.J. Tunnison. Muskies with the basketball. Baxter on the drive. Guarded by Seneff. Now by Seneff as they switch off. Baxter shoots from 15. Off the back iron. No good. And Pitts is there for the rebound. They'll shut off the 30 second, uh, the 35 second clock. Crusaders bring it down. Nadelhofer with a standing dribble top of the key. 16 seconds remain in the first half. Good for Pitts to pop this last second shot here. He has it now on the right side. 10 seconds to go. Senek 
30 feet from the hoop, looks to hand off to Pitts, tries to, but it's knocked out of bounds. The clock will stop with 4.9 seconds to go. And Lakeland knew it was going to Pitts, and uh, number 24 just sat on him and uh, caused the ball to go out of bounds. It's Jesse Edwards. Nadal Hoffer looking inbound now to Eckert. Four, Eckert loses it between his legs, regains two seconds, throws it up. It's no good. Set of fights for the rebound of the Crusaders. We'll go to halftime, Ooh. leading 36-34, and it's been a pretty darn close ball game. Uh, excuse me, trailing 36 to 34. A little wishful thinking on my part, but unfortunately, Crusaders are. Uh,
Thank you. 